may have started two wildfires over the weekend in the San Francisco Bay Area. PG&E shares fell sharply again today as the Kincaid fire in the north cast doubt over the bankrupt utility's future. Jane Wells reports from Wine Country in Healdsburg, California. From north to south. They want to get people out of there safely. They'll worry about the structures later. California was on fire again. In Southern California, several new fires broke out, including one along the 405 freeway, which forced celebrities who live on LA's west side to flee. I personally saw uh, five homes that are on Tiger Tail uh, that have been lost, uh, but I saw them holding the lines there, and that has not spread further in the last couple hours. And up north in Sonoma County, the Kincaid fire doubled in size overnight to over 66,000 acres. Over 180,000 people remain evacuated, and more than 2 million people have been without power. PG&E turned off the power intentionally to try and avoid disaster, but disaster came anyway. The winds were calm Monday morning and the temperatures cold, which slowed the progress of the fire. But a new wind event is expected to start Tuesday. And PG&E is telling a lot of people it's just not going to be worth it to turn the power back on for many of them until after that second event blows through. Uh, what we're starting to get ready for, though, is another red flag event. Uh, right now, it looks like that's going to start sometime midday Tuesday and push us into Wednesday morning. So we've got a kind of a quiet 24 hour window right now, and then we're going to go into another critical period. A map of PG&E outages shows just how widespread the blackout is in the northern part of the state. While down south, SoCal Edison warns its current intentional outage areas could increase as the winds kick up. Edison reports earnings on Tuesday, which will give investors the first idea of what the fires and blackouts are costing. PG&E, which is in bankruptcy, reports next week, but its shares continue to have their own sort of power failure. Governor Newsom is reportedly floating the idea that Warren Buffett buy the utility out of bankruptcy. And even though turning off the power is supposed to cut down on the chances of a fire, and maybe it has, the fire which destroyed this winery may have been started by a power line which was not turned off. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Jane Wells in Healdsburg, California. Tiffany gets a proposal. That's where we begin tonight's market focus. The jeweler confirmed it received a possible acquisition offer from French luxury goods maker LVMH. The financial details were not released, but reports say the offer is for about $120 a share. Tiffany says it's reviewing that offer. Its shares sparkled up more than 31% to 129.72. Walgreens will be shutting down about 160 in-store clinics as the drugstore chain looks to cut costs and bring in outside providers to help deliver.